This is a store tour of Carson's at the streets of Woodfield in Schaumburg, Illinois. Carson's opened here in 2000 at a redeveloped uh, indoor mall that was called One Schomburg Place that closed in 1997. It opened a great fanfare and it, was, and it is currently located next to the largest mall in Illinois. However, in the end of January, Bonton announced that they would be closing the Carson's at the streets of Woodfield in Schomburg. Many people were surprised by the closing of this store. When it opened, it was the flagship store for Carson's. This store is actually super nice for Carson's. Out of most I've seen, this one is really nice. However, the store is not visible from Woodfield Mall, and it didn't really benefit being from being so close to it due to a lack of connectivity between the two properties. It's overall really disappointing. Despite this store being kind of new, that doesn't mean it isn't loaded up with a bunch of interesting architecture features that I've really never have seen in a, another department store. This isn't even a large store, but they walled off a section of it, which is really a sign that it wasn't doing very well. Those two chairs are just there trying to discourage the fact that the area behind them is closed off. I like this atrium here, it's kind of interesting. This store is quite modern, and it's a lot nicer than your average Carson's. However, the merchandise here is about the same as your average one, and there are many other Carson's in this area and none of them are scheduled to be closed. This was actually the only one that was originally scheduled to be closed. And keep in mind, Carson's parent company, Bonton, is currently bankrupt. And they only have two ways out of this bankruptcy. A group of vendors is trying to buy select stores, and another group of liquidators is trying to buy off all the stores to shut them all down. Bonton essentially has two paths get acquired or closed down completely. More store closures are imminent, sadly. And one of the reasons, in my opinion, why I think this store is closed is this store has a high rent because this is right next to Mega Mall. And it just wasn't cutting it well enough compared to a lot of other Carson stores which don't have as much competition and they do better because of that. By the customer service desk and restrooms, there's an Amazon locker. A 
I've always wondered why these stores have so much space just devoted to luggage. It's not something you buy very often. The store was pretty much fully stocked except in this one section. The strangest feature of this store is that it has two sets of escalators. I just wonder why they chose to make that decision. If this isn't even that big of a store, it's just kind of weird. We're now going to take a look at the first floor, which is entirely devoted toward women's. You can't have a liquidation sale without naked mannequins. This downstairs area is even nicer than it was upstairs. When I film these videos, I always save this cosmetics, the cosmetics area, towards the end because that's where the highest concentration of employees are, and that's where I have the highest chance of getting kicked out for filming. And I did not get kicked out, by the way. Coming up right here is the close to home section. This is something that Bonton has been really trying to elevate in their stores over the last year. It sells locally made goods and products. However, with the bankruptcy, they decided they're just not going to pay these vendors. Kind of a shady move over there, Bonton. It's really a shame. This store was opened to be a flagship almost for them. However, it sadly is closing after 18 years. It just never took off. It just never became what they wanted. I will continue to try to stay updated with what's going on with Bonton and their potential fate. I really hope they find a way to survive. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, you should leave a like. If you want to leave some thoughts, go right down into the comment section. And maybe, if you really want to see more, you should subscribe. I would also recommend a video I made about Bonton and how they got to this point of how they're bankrupt and a video touring another Carson store that is closing.